Today we are going to study the brain. This is Alex. During our experiment, we are going to see what's happening inside Alex's brain. And various things are happening outside in Alex's world. These three animals over here represent parts of Alex's brain. So they are on the inside. Let's watch what happens to them while Alex is waiting for her mom to pick her up for practice. Something threatening is happening to Alex. The two school bullies are approaching on the outside. Inside, different parts of Alex's brain react. Our animal friends here represent different parts that are inside Alex's brain. Meaning is a guard dog. His number one job is to keep Alex in. He's always on alert in case he senses anything dangerous, like a bully. Meg is short for amygdala. Let's say it together. Ah! The amygdala is part of Alex's brain that's on alert, like a dare dog. Let's see what Meg is going to do. That's a nice ball. Give it to me. As you can see, something scary is happening and he is a lot of agitated in Alex's brain. But there are two other parts of his brain. Let's see what they do. Let's be close. Squirt is a rise out or well. He has a seat. Right now, he's pretty young. Welcome 
to middle school students. I'm your teacher, Mr. Wickham. I hope you have memorized your schedule and your lock will come. I got this. I'm ready. In middle school, you have a lot to keep track of who's your parents and schedule them. Me, me, I'm so excited for special. Today's the Silver Day. I banned on Silver Day. I am banned too. I'm playing the trumpet. Go on, Lawrence. How about you? Do you have your plan or have your lock? I love my locker, so you should open it. I already have them in my locker. I have been from my planner. Are you okay? I am freaking out! Freeze! Wow, what happened to you? That was not all that scary. <laughs> what are you doing? Are you having a hand shield? You don't want to have a hand shield. You want to have a hand shield. Let's actually get a shot. Rewind. Yes, but how did she freeze? I'm going to freak out. 